than Patricia, I can uh, I used to uh, to ambush her very much. Uh, we we do the news together, and I was saying, put uh, meanwhile here, yeah, meanwhile. So uh, I'm happy that I've been part of uh, the the media fraternity for quite some time. Well, we'll start uh, with the presidential address uh, to Parliament uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, I want to thank the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Akainde Ichema, uh, for taking time to interact with the Zambians through uh, National uh, Assembly. Um, I just want to tackle maybe two or three uh, points which I wasn't uh, agreeing uh, with the President. Uh, the first point is the, pres the, the point to do with uh, general elections. Uh, as a, a, a Zambian and a former uh, minister, a former lawmaker, uh, as you might be aware, I've been in parliament for two terms as uh, a member of parliament for Kavushi uh, constituency. I've been uh, going through the constitution of the Republic of Zambia. I've participated in um, uh, constitution amendments, especially 2016 um, constitution amendments. I was one of the members of parliament who participated in that uh, uh, process. And we tackled so many clauses in, uh, uh, in, the, in the constitution. And uh, the clause to do with uh, the, the election is not one of the clauses which we tackled in 2016 constitution amendment. It is very clear that uh, every after five years, Zambia as a democratic country would go for general uh, election. General election to renew our mandate as politicians, to go back to the people, to go and tell the people what we have done, to go to the people what we intend to do for them. It's up to the people to give you the second chance or to tell you to go out and relax. And uh, as Zambians, we are scheduled to, to have the 2026 20, general elections. And these elections, it has been set already. The, the institution which is mandated to run or to conduct elections in our country, the Electoral Commission of Zambia, two months ago, they released a roadmap to the people of Zambia. And in that roadmap, the date is confirmed. In that roadmap, the year is confirmed. And the time of casting our votes is, con it, it is uh, highlighted in that roadmap. And hearing to the president yesterday, or listening to the president yesterday in parliament, and he, he touched on a very sensitive issue to do with elections and presidential tenure. That is not what the Zambians are looking for. That is not what the Zambians expected to come out of the president. That is not what the Zambians really want. The Zambians, what they need now is to sort out the issue to do with road shedding. Is to sort out the high commodity prices which we are faced with. That is what we want. What we want is to have medicines in our hospitals. That is what we expected to hear from the president. We wanted the president to tell the people of Zambia how the farming season will, will be, 2024 to 2025. The farmers, they have cried that they don't have money to pay the 400 to redeem their fertilizer and seeds. We wanted, to exp we wanted the president to tell us how the government is going to rescue our farmers. That is what we wanted to hear from the president. To hear that the president was talking about uh, aid to extend uh, presidential tenure from five years to nine years, that is not necessary. That is not for the president. That is for the parliament and the people of Zambia. It is not President Akainde Ichilema's issue. And for us, as young men and women of this country, we were thinking of reducing the presidential term from five years to four years, because five years is too much. Five years is too much. It is not us, the politicians, 
who govern this country. As the politician, we give political will. That's why we have the team in government called technocrats. Those are the people who govern this country. Not us politicians. We just give a political will. And just a political will, you want to be in power for nine years just to give a political will? We are saying the presidential tenure has to be reduced, not increased. We need a four-year term. We need a four-year term. It's not a politician who construct roads. It's not a politician who construct hospitals. It's government. Government is it's, it's a government for the people. Whether we are there or not, government will continue to be there. So it's not necessary for the president to talk about uh, uh, extension of tenure from five to, to nine years. It is not necessary. And there is no lacuna in the constitution. There is no lacuna whatsoever. There is no lacuna. For me, who was there by the time we were uh, amending the constitution 2016, if the lacuna was there, Edgar Chagwalungu would have not uh, 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 accepted to go for elections in 2021. But there's no lacuna whatsoever. There's, not, there's nothing which is silent in, 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 in Fasaf to, to uh, the date of elections and the year of elections. Nothing. Everything is clear. After five years, you have to go for the general elections. And moreover, the president in 2026, he won't be the president of us. He will be the candidate for UPND if he, he will be uh, uh, picked to be a representative of the UPND. All of us who will be participating at that time, all of us will be candidates, either at the council level, uh, council chairperson's level, mayor, MP, and presidents. It will be, we will all be candidates. So that is not a job for the president. It's a job to do with the people who have been mandated to look at the constitution. And we did, as members of parliament, on behalf of the people of Zambia in 2016, we did. So this issue, I want to urge the people of Zambia, I want to urge you, um, uh, uh, the, the media fraternity, don't amplify the debate out there because there is nothing to debate about. Don't, don't, don't amplify anything because there is no debate here. There is no debate. 2026, we will be going for the general elections for president, members of parliament, councillors, council chairpersons, and mayors across the country. And that is what the constitution says. And we are very comfortable with that for us as the people of this same country called the Zambia. President Yakande Ichirema came in government through the same constitution, for God's sake. Same. And there's nothing that has changed. We challenge the Electoral Commission of Zambia, Chairperson, Madame Zalomes, State Council, to issue a statement on Monday to clarify on this issue. Let her issue the statement to clarify on this issue because we have the roadmap already. All of us as Zambians, we have the roadmap for 2026, which came from the Electoral Commission of Zambia. And we urge the chairperson to issue the statement to clarify this issue. If there have been dark corner meetings with the president concerning the 2026 general elections, we want Madame Zaromes to come out and tell the nation where we are. Because all of us, we are preparing ourselves for 2026. Uh, Kalaba just launched uh, his uh, manifesto uh, and the plan for 2026. Uh, KBF did the same. I'm aware uh, Socialist Party, uh, they're having the convention preparing for 2026. So all the political players, they are geared to participate in 2026 general, uh, general elections. 
The other issue is to do with CDF. President Daga in the HLM complained that uh, there are some um, uh, issues which he are making CDF not to move according to his expectation. If you recall very well, I told the people of Zambia that this CDF it won't work. And the records are there. I told them let us maintain 1.6 million kwacha because councils and constituencies we have no capacity to hold these huge sums of money. I told the people of Zambia, and uh, as usual, Zambians, without analyzing things, they started talking about, ah, you Boman, what are you saying? It's not about uh, being in government or being a Zambian. But uh, I was putting my case very straight, because I know. I was an MP for two terms, and I know what I was talking about. This CDF is a, is a flop. This CDF is a flop. The responsibility of council and the constituencies is to attend to small issues in CDF, Constituency Development Fund. Small issues such as uh, unblocking of drainages. Small issues, small issues. Now you are seeing police, they are driving land cruisers CDF. For what? For what? We have a ministry in charge of the police, Minister of Home Affairs. There is a location in the budget of this republic to that ministry. They have got a right to procure vehicles for police stations. Now they are buying vehicles at a ministry level for the constituents. Can you call it the constituency development fund? It is not constituency development fund. So my advice is let them just maintain the 1.6, our 1.6 uh, constituency development fund we constructed schools, hospitals, as members of parliament, roads. Why? We are working with uh, uh, the line ministries, Minister of Infrastructure, Minister of Health, who are mandated to do those things. And the movement was very well than what we are seeing today. Now all the money has been uh, worked and it is now in the, uh, 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 the central bank, Bank of Zambia. You have to apply again the money for the constituency from Bank of Zambia. You guys, that is not the way we work. That is not the way you work. This money actually, it will bring a lot of problems to our colleagues, especially members of parliament. Uh, uh, um, uh, town clerks, councillors, and many other government officials. It will bring a lot of problems after 2026. This money, CDF, it will bring a lot of problems. A lot of problems. So when we are talking about capacity, again, they were saying, ah, what are you talking about, Bowman? We talked about capacity because I knew what was uh, happening before and now. The issue to do with uh, agriculture. The 2023-2024 agriculture season, it was a flop. We had drought. Our farmers lost everything. Our farmers lost everything. What is the responsibility of government? The responsibility of government is to take care of its citizens. That is the core responsibility, is to take care of its citizens. 
the farmers have cried that we don't have money to redeem for our fertilizer, to redeem for our, uh, our, our seeds, and government is quiet. I want to challenge a disaster minister of agriculture, uh, Mutolo, to come out and tell the people of Zambia how government intend to help or to rescue our farmers out there. We have the database as government to know how many farmers we have. How are we going to help them? The farmers have cried that they don't have money and all of us we know that the farmers they don't have money. The last farming season it was a disaster. Where do you expect the farmers to get the money from? It is a job of government to help its citizens. So we challenge Mutolo to come out and tell the people of Zambia how government intend to help the farmers. We have this 2024-2025 farming season. If we are not careful, this is September, we are heading for another disaster as a country because of poor planning. Mr. Mutolo, he has failed the people of Zambia, but the president has continued to keep him as a minister of agriculture. And we want him to tell the people of Zambia how government intends to help the people of Zambia in the agriculture sector. I also want to talk about the mining industry on the Copper Belt province. The president has gone to the Copper Belt province so many times and the issues on the Copper Belt province seems not to change. Seems not to change. Why? Because the president and its representative in terms of our Minister of Mining, he has gone to sleep. Kabuswe is getting fat every day and he has failed to sort out the issues to do with mining on the Copper Belt province despite Kabuswe coming from the Copper Belt province. It is not enough to get fat every day without sorting out the issues in your ministry. It is not enough. It is not enough. So we challenge the Minister of Mines, Honorable Kabuswe, let him help the people of Zambia by revamping the mining sectors, not only on the Copper Belt province, but in other provinces as well. We need job creation. Zambia is a very rich country. Zambia is a very rich country. And I, I, I can't see any reason why we should continue living like beggars. When we have everything, we have everything. So, Copper Belt Province, we still have to do a lot of things for us to change the status quo on the Copper Belt Province. And I urge my traditional leaders, my chiefs on the Copper Belt Province, please talk, speak out. It is not enough for you to keep quiet. Your subjects are suffering and you are quiet. We have helped this country as Lambas and I'm not tribal to develop Zambia. But your people are suffering and you are quiet. We have everything. We have copper, we have what? On the Copper Belt province. And the people are benefiting are the so-called foreign investors. The chiefs are quiet. 
we want Lamba chiefs to stand up and talk we can't go on like this when you are being harassed you are quiet when things are not well in our province again you are quiet but why are you quiet what are you fearing you are chiefs what are you fearing I expect my chiefs on the copper belt to start speaking to start talking on issues to do with governance on issues to do with persecution on issues to do with development let them talk you have seen other chiefs talking but ours they are quiet as the son from the copper belt province I urge or challenge my fathers and mothers to start talking and the time is now I also want to talk about sports in the recent past we have seen that there's a lot of uh, uh, lazy fair attitude in the sports industry and I want to challenge my colleague Nkandu Elvis I think we need to sort out this issue the issue to do with sports we need to sort out this issue as you might be aware sports especially football unifies the country and we need to have proper sports discipline but in the recent past things are not good in the sports industry and I want to urge my brother Elvis Nkandu and from this press briefing I'll even call him I've been with Nkandu he's my colleague from the Copper Belt province I was dyed he was a marketeer so we know each other <laughs> we know each other very well so for me we do interact with Nkandu so I'll talk to uh, 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 Tunkandu um, as well. The issue to do with politics, UCA. We as uh, members of uh, Patriotic Front, we have observed that the UCA Council of Presidents they have been disrespecting the former president of this republic balungo fo baba tabai bi kapafintu no kubabu president mu 2015 baba send the refete bali abalwisha dine mbefi awe tefyo baba balungo capacity bali kwatu no mbata balwi le finto ababe mbabalanda ti umunani uyu uwe me uilombele nshi uilombele omu chele ok umunani uwe me uilombele omu chele balungu nga mwaba mwana abe ene tabafuwa yoshi ya kuruisha luishe finto now we have observed that in uka they want to undermine President Edgar Chagualung. Countrymen and women. President Rungu is a former president of this republic. He lost elections in 2021, but don't underestimate him. Don't underestimate him. If I was Uka, a member of Uka, Council of Presidents, I would have taken advantage of his presence. And taking advantage of his presence is to make sure that they do the right thing. If they don't want to do the right thing, PF is a strong party with structures in all 
all the 156 constituencies, including Munad, including Munad, where we are today. And if you, you just interact with the people of Munali, you will find out that uh, we don't have an MP in Munali. We don't have. So MP in 2024, which means the people of Munali, they will need an MP in 2026. And the people of Munali, they have already made their decision. So undermining PF, you're yeah, undermining the, the potential government or government in waiting. Undermining PF, you're yeah, undermining government in waiting. And those kinds of presidents, actually, they would have called the alliance PF alliance with other political party. <laughs> I'm telling you because PF is a very big party. We have more than 50 members of parliament. Actually, as we are governing with UPND, <laughs> we are governing with UPND. If you want to support UPND, we are capable of doing that. But our preoccupation is a service delivery, is to see development going to our people. If you want to support UPND, it's just one second. Saga City Council is uh, PF. Are you aware about that? Kabwe City Council is PF. Kitwe City Council is PF. Ndola City Council is PF. Just to mention as a few. Which means we are in government with the UPND. They treat us well, we treat them back well. If they mistreat us, we mistreat them. So, if you have an opportunity to interact with a political party like that one, can you undermine a political party like that? You can't. You take advantage. You take advantage and you work together, win together, because the win for alliance is the win for the people of Zambia. The win for alliance is the win for the people of Zambia. Now you want to undermine President Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu has governed this country from 2015 to 2021. He's not a small boy. Don't underestimate his body. It's a, it's, he has something which God has given him. And this thing you have president if so Bauka, if you don't like President Lungu, leave him alone. Leave him alone. We haven't felt managing President Lungu. We haven't. We haven't. President Lungu came to Uka not to bring confusion. He came to Uka to strengthen the opposition so that we can work together. I'm making this statement for the first time. I've never talked about Uka because it's not my business. Now mistreating President or undermining President Lungu becomes my business because my job is to protect all members of the party, including President Edgar Chagualungu. And I want also to warn PF MPs, all of them in Parliament. One, you members of PF in Parliament, you are, you are not bigger than the party. Some of you, you were crying before adoption. You wanted the party to adopt you. Maybe you even bribed uh, your officials. But today, you want us as a party to start begging for you? You want us, the party, to start begging for you? Is that normal? It is not normal. You are too quiet in parliament. 
a lot of things is happening you are too quiet ukuba member of parliament den chito it's a service to the people ngani insala ya meter in parliament nga maria fwa en chito kumbu always your preoccupation is about money 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 den chito kuba in parliament kuba mbela abantu number one two tamule babo mbela and your preoccupation is uh, gratuity your preoccupation is salaries allowances that is not being a politician but president by the meeting bambina mu ya toto amgu tsare register ku parliament tuka mu mfwepo na kabiti bana mu ya mgu tsita ba president na beta meeting iwe na uya kumbi if you want you can resign as an, a member of parliament you don't care because we know that we are strong in all the constituencies we are very strong huh? we are very strong we want discipline in pf but secretary general of the meeting we stop what we are doing that the chief executive officer he has called for a meeting let's go and listen to him Tuambi ukupapata ba 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 MP ifwe MP tuambi ukupapata ifwe for what I was once an MP Davis Mwira was not pleading for me even he, he won't me bomber if you are misbehaving we will chase you because we are just now our agent the tapale of bakwa tama MPs abe ne ba constituents ni ba constituents chairman ba constituents chair lady ba youth chairman ba constituents na ma branches and i'm proud to say that we are in touch with all the constituencies and we are very strong and as mobilization uh, department we have all the the representative in all the constituencies so as i'm speaking i know what is happening in kanchivia as i'm speaking i know what is happening in solwezi central as i'm speaking i know what is happening in kabushi as i'm speaking i know what is happening in wengwa because we have the structures in all the constituencies and representatives and we are getting the information on a daily basis so pf members of parliament you have to pull up your socks you can't take the party at ransom if you want to join other political parties you are free to go you are free to go i'm annoyed because there's no way the president called for the meeting we see few mps president is going for a, a court session with five seven ten is he, when he has more than 50 mps those are jokes man kwanga loko kwanga lo kwanga lo kukulu fish of the team ni nani wa kupotele pa kuisa mu parliament the ticket ya pf ngare tina fumamo ngare tino kwenda na lungu fumamo fumamo so next time when president lungu is going to appear at court or anywhere we need all the members of parliament to be there very soon we'll be uh, having uh, adoptions first and foremost i can assure you that pf is very strong no yunga na mtwara fe kukabush lelo ndele eule imini no yu kuwina tapari nefi ngafia fe kuwina so why because the party it's very strong we don't depend on members of parliament we depend on our structures not members of parliament but our structures so for me it is not enough to be in parliament and draw salaries it is not enough it is not enough to wait for your gratuity it is not enough we want the people of zambia to know that uh, mps they are not bigger than the party 
we want things to be uh, to, things to be happening the way they're supposed to not uh, sg ale moneka kwati mwaiche kuri mp imwe kwangalo kona imwe president ale moneka wonse bali amule munaba mp the party wale lala wonse kuya mkupapata ye mumpele kofe njimi nine kofe na papata njimi nine kofe edi galungu wami sumi ni shoku imi nina misaini na ama ama certificate lelota mre mshindika kuna kukoti political party teku ba mpao walo yaba political party no even in opposition the way we are it is being a political party if you are power if you are if you are abari mpao tabari munani tabari mu opposition tabari mu opposition some of them we even worked with them we worked with them lelo mlefu wa mlefu sama mlefu wa mlefu sama fisho wa mlefu samina mwisho kwenda na lungu mulandu kwenda na lungu mulandu muzambia lelo kwenda na lungu wala wa mulandu so tie niba mp tupose kwa mano eno nga kuri mp winge miomu tuati ine kutina imi nepalu weka na wina no kwina tuliba anono sana tuliba anono sana kubula ba pf na ba upnd pamo dimbi teti ba teti tuchilefe na three aba ashala buonse they depend on a political path they depend on the political party. The party we engage in tumbula, ah, ine. The party, kutina mufi. It's because of the polit, the strength of the political party. So we have to fly. We have to come in, come on, Bambi. We have to be engaged. We have to fly. Papi, we have to come We have to come in. We have to come in. Imo. And I want to tell you that uh, Honorable Mao Samp. Is our colleague okay? He is our colleague, Honorable Honorable Mausam. Is our colleague. Some of us uh, we are friends, okay? We are friends. So, PF we have a thing. Nanguma Mona Mausa, let's stay in Tuku, but PF we have a thing. Imo. So, to Mambona in Indina Mausi, because Mausi is PF and I'm PF. Okay? PF ya wate inga? Imo. Alai, fi chitika pari PF, fi ya munga anda. Ifota tuwa ishiwe fi chitika maya anda yenu. Dembi mui luwa veri mwondi unaba, naba lumebenu, naba kashibenu. Mnefuwa nga mwafireta palu alala, na bambi ba ishiwa kwa bantu nisheni nishinga anda yenu ya onaika. Nisa onaika yyo. Nisi tuwa kwata fye, Nani, tuwa kwa panga fe mistake ya tiaba, ntuba fi ishiwe fi chitika kunsa. Ifi chitika mpf, fye su, ba pf. Elo naba ringiri okufisova, ni fwebo, ba pf. Elo tuwe fisova na okufisova, ni fwebo ba pf. Pana ifwebe ni tuwa ishiwe fi chitika maanda mienu, tatufuwa hafi okulanda po. Tuwa ishiwe fi chitika ma political parties yenu, tatufuwa hafi okulanda po. Because, tatufuwa hafi okulanda po. Because, tatufuwa hafi okulanda po. Awa sungu balanda ti mind your business. Efi landa wa sungu. Mind your business. So, tule kere ni. Ama problems tukwe te mpifu. Tula kaya tukaya tuta sort out. Fwe bene. Imwe wa media. Mutu wa fwe koku tuta sort out. Ama problems. Mwishina mwana tuwa fwe lako. Mwira tui pusha ti. Mao zi. Edgar Lungu faction. Imweni nishimule imba ichiri, ichiri inti. Ifo tuwa, there is no faction in PF. Tuwa kwa tafye misunderstanding. No faction whatsoever. Tuwa kwa tafye misunderstanding. And definitely, as human beings, we will sort out that misunderstanding. Because it involves us as PF not any other person and we want the courts to to distance themselves from our misunderstanding the police to distance themselves from our misunderstanding and other stakeholders to distance themselves from our understanding this issue 
is a PF issue. Fia munga and defi. To can fix that sort out for them. And I want to encourage Robert Chavinga. You people, the media, you want to excite people. You want to excite people. Now you saw acting president, Robert Chavinga. Mm. <laughs> president Wabo Wokanomba. Now Chavinga, if you have no who are acting president, PF. PF is a very big structure. We have governed this country for 10 years. And PF has been in opposition before. So it's a, it's a well-established uh, uh, organization with a constitution. PF, well-established organization. All the English said about UPND, party in a chavinga. Why me in a in a chavinga? In a new UPND, Venga Senda. It's me because of people in all the ten, const uh, 10 provinces, including Chavinga's constituency. What I can bring on the table, Chavinga can't. So often I land the Chavinga for the issue, but Japa, but then Bonfia Fie. Hello, Kubonfua, Kubonfiwa, Kwadi Kwatenshta. Okay? Kubonfiwa, Kwadi Kwatenshta. Chavinga and Gafmafe Kubantu. Afuya is right up, but then bonfia. Hello, it's very bad. Wafuma kuba nove. Hello, I'm going to betray. Aba nove. Chavingo for the English people to stop. Now, if we go back to, is to do the right thing, and the right thing to do is to come back to his senses and say this is wrong. What I'm doing. Ngona. How can you run away from Mausa? How? How possible is it? Wafuma kumuntu, huwa kwafwa, wafuma na nkwe, hello waisa sanga new friends. Are you telling me that those new friends, they'll keep you? They won't keep you. They're just using you. And I want to go to to come back to his senses and say, hmm, chachi ni apa, bade mbomti afi abantu apa. Time will come. Is that necessary? It's not necessary. It's okay to do the right thing now. And it's very important to do the right thing. Because the people who are not I want to, umuntu, konso puava. I feel that we that I want to. Pant to la sala, if you akutita, ne fishidi, if you akutita. So, ngona fuile fi atonto nkanya. Na ikarafio mwine, mshefio nde stefi. Am I helping the people of Zambia? Am I helping the people of Zambia? Not that am I helping mouse. Am I helping the people of Zambia? Okay? So, Mr. Ngona, you have got uh, all the time and the opportunity to do the right thing. And the right thing to do is to come back to your senses. That is the right thing to do. Lastly, but not the least, I want to congratulate President, incoming President of the United States of America, his Excellency Donald Trump for debating in the line of the peoples of America's expectation. We want to encourage him to continue working in those lines and we want to encourage him that as people or as Africans we want to see Donald Trump back in White House. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Samu, for that talk. At least this time around, I've gotten got an endorsement also for Kawushi. So remember to put for me. Um, colleagues, those that have got questions, please, um, at least I'm encouraged. Maybe three, three, three from, from two females and from uh, two gents as well.
as well. Anybody with a question? Let's, let's interrupt, let's interrupt, then with the question please. Yes, yes, Andrew. And I also take from him. Let's have more on this video in three. Set for the break with the interaction, so please let's interrupt. Yes. My name is Andrew, I'm from Diamond. Yes. I want to find out some of the mitigating measures that government has put across to push on the impact of not shaking up. Are they enough? Uh, we've seen that factories are closing, we've seen that small businesses are dying down and they're changing the workers. Do you think government is good enough? Thank you. Um, Okay, yeah, the question is, please go ahead. I'm from the Kenyan radio. Uh, I remember the last time that we interacted with Moshe to see what you fight for the Kabushi. And the elections have slowly approaching. I think we find out if you will be on the tickets in terms of the Kabushi and the Parliament. And apart from that, uh, there's been a concern to say civil society uh, organizations. Uh, uh, the civic space is kind of shown. I don't know what you know that uh, the civil society is speaking on behalf of the Zambia and the speaker, what has been going on. The UN report that was released, among other things. Uh, do you think the civil society has been very strong uh, in as far as that? Thank you. Um, we'll allow you to speak, to respond. I think we have more. Oh, yes, you can go ahead. Just yes, before you're listening to Pandora's from County. Honorable, uh, I remember when you started your briefing, you encouraged the president to visit China. Um, last year, if I've not even taken, you came back to about 15 MOUs. And this entry just came back from China. Thank you so much for time to respond, then we can take more. Uh, Maybe I can add one more. Sorry, good morning, Hawk Millennium TV. Um, on the issue of UCA, you have pointed that, uh, you've noticed that uh, former Republican president is being disrespected by some council members. Don't you think it would be better for him to leave the alliance so that the party can fully and solely support him? Okay, thank you. Let's allow him to respond, and then we can ask you, so you have time to think about him. Yes. No, thank you very much. I'll start with the Ground TV. Uh, yes, uh, we have been very critical on the President uh, of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Akainde Ichilema, to visit China because uh, we uh, understand how IMF operates and the boys and girls. Uh, uh, in Washington, we know uh, that uh, they can't uh, help us. They don't have solutions for Zambia. And we told the president, sir, go to China. Several times. We petitioned the president, we wrote to the president, we advised the president to go to China. And we are happy that the president uh, has now visited China twice. And uh, uh, this time around, he was very excited when he was coming out of China for five, four days uh, uh, state visit. And uh, as usual, you know my brother, uh, he feels for himself. He say, ah, HH, do you think HH can come out of China for four days? Because for us as a country, what we want, we want to see uh, uh, electricity, we want to see road shedding going, we want to see people having three meals a day, we want to see mining uh, industry booming. Those are the things which we want to see. We want to see agriculture, forestry, uh, beekeeping, uh, and many other uh, sectors such as uh, uh, aquaculture uh, also. So. Uh, as a person who has been advocating for the president to visit China, I'm happy that uh, the president now he has realized that uh, the development of this country, if you want to develop it, practical development, is coming from, the, of, of, from China. The, 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 your friend in it is your friend indeed. Remember China, by the time China was not uh, uh, the China we are uh, seeing today, it was uh, uh, also struggling by, by the time uh, Chairman Mao uh, accepted uh, President uh, Kaunda's uh, proposal of uh, connecting uh, Zambia uh, to uh, uh, Tanzania. And this time around, we have seen a lot of uh, uh, infrastructure which has emerged in our country because of the relationship which we have enjoyed with, uh, with China. 
although it's too late because uh, uh, development uh, takes time uh, to come up. Uh, we are happy that uh, uh, the president has initiated all these things. Whether I will be president in 2026 uh, or not, uh, that is not uh, important. The most important thing is uh, he has represented us as Zambians and he has entered into uh, deals uh, concerning uh, the people of Zambia's uh, uh, development. So for us, we are happy that uh, the president uh, has headed to our call for him not concentrating on uh, IMF and World Bank, but also to think of um, uh, uh, China. Uh, it is not only China, the president uh, has to visit Russia as well. Uh, because uh, we need uh, uh, fuel in, in our country and the only country which can give us fuel at a very cheap price is Russia. We need fertilizer. Uh, we need fertilizer and this fertilizer, we can get it from Russia, we can get it from uh, Ukraine. That's why me, I'm supporting Trump because Trump has told the world that immediately he gets into White House, the war in, um, uh, in Ukraine and Russia, it will come to an end because uh, all the troops will be withdrawn. And we need a president who's thinking in those lines. And we want to continue supporting him because we know what we'll achieve as a country. Uh, the issue to do with the civil society, uh, they are not doing enough. Uh, they have gone to sleep. It is not uh, uh, the work of uh, uh, the UN to observe things which uh, uh, the, our watchdogs are supposed to observe. But our watchdogs have gone to sleep. Not only civil society, even our bishops. We have council of bishops in our country. Apart from the Catholics who are trying, most of our bishops they have gone to bed. When we go to those churches, we pray with them. When we come out, we are faced with road shedding, we are faced with high, high, high commodities of prices in our country, and the bishops are not talking. We need bishops to call a spare a spare. So they are not doing enough. We challenge all the bishops, including my bishop, Bishop Joy Makando, to come out and call a spade a spade. Ngatulea kuchechi ni nsala. Tatuwa kula mfwefi ya kula alanda ama bishops vesu. Most of the time, tukala ala ala mchechi. Kabili nchi natu mfwe nsala. Kuchechi tulea natu ni na mfwefi ya kufwala ni mikone. We need to come up with a solution and the solution is supposed to be now. The issue to do with uh, 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 my sister, Edgar Chagualungu, PF, we are not stingy, we are not selfish. We are not stingy, we are not selfish. The reason why Edgar Lungu is there, we want to govern together. We want to govern together. Let those people in Uka presidential uh, uh, alliance to respect President Lung. He has seen it all. And if they want to support their own among the presidents who have never governed, the key is President Lungu. The key is President Lungu. So you disrespect President Lungu, we withdraw him from there one day. We disrespect him, we are going to withdraw him. We are not uh, we are not saying we don't have people. That's why in Gamaunfa Puma and Navamu in Katakawe, the Gobat in Jamuka, but what he's saying is saying, Ah, we Gabamana fetching. So, who's that one? Oh, the bulldozer. Then, if I'm book with okay, it'll want to be younger by Isa. I'm sure he's in the Pangoland. It's very for Kum Bonacofie. Why Bukisha, if you're to Ale Kala. If you suma, mama naka. So we are pukui picha. Oya president Lungu ya. Nadi miyebe again. Muira mona filo kubazi. Ah, the kuatama supporters. As we speak, 
President Dongo, who was a barot. Tuamwana kumwati kalo koko ina kunyuka sama kumiyobe. You win. Winning the win of win of a song. Now go back up to the table for the end. I was a barot. Tuamwati kala kunyuka sama. You win. The people will vote. All of us who have got on how many votes? One each. One. One. How do you never make a decision? President Lungu or President Akainde each them. Themselves, they will make a decision. Anyway, if you are my politics, Bakapokola Bafu Memo. Bakapokola Massivo Sevens. Bafu Memo. It is not good. Three chinja baka pokola. Party inga yaisa baka pokola ba chinja. Party inga yaisa baka pokola ba chinja. It's not good. Baka pokola ba fumemo. Ma politics. The Kenya want to change politics. Ma change politics. Let the people decide. So ndaba konga nia potu kwa fanya ma balungu. Balungu te te bari amule mona bari. Bari bari kuuka. Lungu, but Lungu the institution Lungu Edgar Chagua Lungu is an institution, and you should not treat him as an individual. Then you are making a mistake, a very big mistake. It's an institution that man he has former ministers behind him, he has former generals behind him, police behind him. Former permanent secretaries behind him, former district commissioners behind him, former diplomats behind. Is that one is an institution, you guys? It is an that man is an institution. So when you treat him as an individual, you are making a mistake. This is my first time to talk about work. I've never talked about work because if you are work, if you are work, you are not able to get Andrew. The issue to do with the other source of energy. It's very important. The president has to address this issue. And the president, when he was coming from China, he took this issue like any other issue. It's a very big issue. To him, you're saying, no, it's very important actually to have road shedding. It's not important, Mr. President. It is not important. My grandmothers in Wengo, we were giving them electricity through Lulu Electrification and Authority. There is no electricity. You want them also to, to get solar. Where are they going to get solar from? It is a responsibility of government to provide anything to its citizen. Now, my government today, they want to shift their problems to us. If we solution. Not about to problems if we problem. solution. The reason why we gave them the mandate to govern for five years. Because they told us that they will work on uh, load shedding, they will reduce prices of, uh, of our commodities, fuel will be cheap, uh, dollar will come down. Everyone did it. Everyone did it. And that is the reason why the people of Zambia said, okay, begin to pay a chance. So, Andrew, we need to work. The government needs to work. For us as PF, President Lungu, he came to the people of Zambia and he told the people of Zambia, we are going to work together. We are going to work together. And there is nothing that he was saying. What we were seeing, uh, the commissioning of for solar farm in MFES, uh, commissioning of uh, Kafiwe Loa, commissioning of so many uh, source of energy. And this thing of um, uh, moving from hydro to other sources of um, energy, Lupia Banda started. 
I can recall very well because I was uh, always in a presidential office as a diehard uh, uh, MMD youth wing. We launched uh, uh, solar geysers at State House. Even today, when you go there, you see those geysers, solar geysers on top of police, uh, policemen's houses. It's us, the MMD government, who initiated this because we projected uh, the issue to do with uh, uh, energy. Okay? Because uh, by then, uh, the issue to do with uh, uh, climate change, uh, it has already started. We were experiencing floods, we were experiencing droughts, and we went to, um, uh, uh, is it uh, uh, Mandevu with President Lungu, and he had to uh, commission and exhibit those things to the people of Zambia. So as government, this program has been there. And what we expected is for UPND to amplify this issue. It's a very serious issue. Now, all of us, we are now urban villagers. All of us, we are urban villagers. All of us, that's why uh, where we are today. Andrew, there's no difference between you in Lusaka and my grandmother in uh, Shuangandu. Same. Same. There's nothing that you can boast for. Uh, me, I watch TV. Are you watching TV? You are not. Your fridges are not working. There's nothing. Today, shopping malls are packed. Not that people want to go and shop around because they want to use toilets as shopping malls. Restaurants are packed. Not because they want to buy things. They are charging their phones in those restaurants. This is not a laughing matter. This issue, actually, President Akainde Ichirema yesterday, he was supposed to declare energy as a disaster. Yesterday, he had an opportunity to declare energy as a disaster. So for me, your question, uh, 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 Andrew, it's a very important question.